Hey there! Today we'll have a look at this gem, the Cross Peerless. Lent to me by Applebaum. I've used a number of cross pens. They're pretty reliable. To me, usually, and I'm talking about the modern cross pens, they're not necessarily super outstanding. They typically don't blow me away. Personal preference, maybe. But usually I find their nibs nice, but not outstanding. Until I use this. But this nib is made by Sailor. Ah. You write and you go, you be la ha 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 te. Because that is very impressive. So this will be a fun review. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample and then I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about this pen. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the Cross Peerless and this is the medalist uh, finish. Let's look at the box first. So, rather a nice box. Cross typically doesn't really overdo it with the boxing, I think, but this is kind of nice. Comes with two cartridges and they are proprietary, so for, for Cross you will need this or a special converter. Comes with a converter too. Uh, the converter was down here, if I remember correctly. And that's it. So, simple box. You know what? I love this. I don't need 50 separate boxes for a pen. It's very simple and it works really nicely. And what I also like, Sailor does that too. You have that little cutout in the sleeve for the brand name. Okay, let me <clears throat> zoom in a little bit and show you this pen. Before I get into detail, this is a Twisby 580 to give you a size comparison. Okay? Alright, so this pen, uh, lent to me by Applebaum. Again, thank you. Comes with fine or medium nibs, as far as I can tell, and it celebrates the Cross uh, Peerless, which was first launched in 1889. Cross is one of those nice older pen brands. Also, the Cross Century launched in 1936. It is platinum plated uh, with 23 karat gold plated details, uh, and it does look rather classy to me. Finial, interesting, holds a Swarovski. Uh, a tiny Swarovski crystal, uh, which is kind of nice. And what stands out most to me, and I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you all these features, but what stands out most to me is the nib. The special thing about the nibs on the Peerless series is that they are made by Sailor in Japan, known for its interesting nibs. Okay, let's cover the parts of the pen. So the finial, we have this Swarovski crystal. I also think this looks really nice, that texture is really cool. And this is one of those pens that actually has texture. There's, a, there's no lacquer over this, so that's kind of neat. We have the clip. Clip says cross, and the clip is pretty tight, but because of the shape, I have found it works pretty well. We have a center band that says peerless, 125, cross. Uh, the 125 that was 125 years uh, of commemoration, if I remember correctly. We have a cap that stands out quite far from the barrel, not flush at all. And then we have the barrel that tapers down ever so slightly to this end bit. Uh, which may suggest it's a piston filler, but it is not. There is a little groove right there. Let's uncap it. Simple black plastic section. Tapers down and it's rather wide. It's a rather wide section, which I kind of enjoyed. So you have this nicely sized pen. A um, lot of metal, so it definitely has some weight to it. And if you want to, you can post this very securely, which is rather nice. Now, for me, having said all this, that posts really securely. I cannot get it off anymore. Okay, there we go. As always, these videos, what you see is what you get. There is no editing or second take, so <clears throat> things get stuck sometimes. For me, the real selling point is this nib. I absolutely love it. and. I don't use the term lightly, but this is a stellar nib. You can see, if you've ever seen a Sailor nib, you can see the influence, the way it's imprinted, uh, etc. It says 125, it says 18K, 
uh, it says M for medium. It does say, uh, uh, I thought it said peerless. Yes, it says peerless on it. Um, and it says cross 18K 750, so the gold content. Plastic feed, and again, if you know Sailor nibs, uh, then this feed will probably look familiar to you. Very nice, nicely tapered section. I find this very comfortable to hold. It's a little fatter, but it's not so, so fat that it is uncomfortable. Barrel on screws, and you have the, uh, the sorry, I was going to say Sailor. I've become contaminated now. Uh, it's the, the cross proprietary converter, and this one is threaded, which I've always appreciated. You don't accidentally dislodge this, so that is nice. Okay, so there you have it. That is the past the pen. Let me show you how this beauty writes. So, sorry for the noise, pens in the way, I've taken them out of the way. Cross, peerless, medalist, I'm not going to write that down. This is the 18K medium, and the ink is Pelican Royal Blue. Okay, writing with this nib. It may sound scratchy, camera microphone is very sensitive to that sound. I guess that's specific frequency or something. In any case, it's not scratchy. There is a, a type of feedback that you also find on Sailor nibs, but I absolutely love it. This nib is superb and an absolute joy to write with. Incredible. Bit of fast writing. I have also left this pen uh, capped but inked for two or three weeks, uncapped it, wrote straight away, no real skipping, there was a little bit right there but I think that was me, it's just great, a lovely well-tuned nib, nice, wet, not too wet, I love it, as always very careful but line variation you can squeeze out a little bit. Reverse writing is possible, turns the nib from a good medium into definitely a fine. Now that is one question we need to answer. If this nib is made by Sailor, often, as you know, Japanese nibs are a grade finer than their Western counterparts, so is this Japanese medium nib a Western medium or a Western fine? Well, in my mind, this is a Western medium. Um, I, I think this is too wide to be called a fine. But of course, that's up to you to decide a little bit too. All I can say is, what a joy to use. So, there you have it. Now, let's talk about what I like about this pen and what I not like so much about this pen. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Cross Peerless? Well, it's an interesting design, I will say that. Uh, it's not necessarily a design that really appeals to me, but that's a, a personal judgment. I like the texture, nice interesting metal texture, that, that is interesting to, to touch, it's nice, pleasant to the touch. It's also a solid pen with a lot of metal, nice balance, metal barrel plastic section, but it works. I don't find it uncomfortably top-heavy. Uh, when you post it, that's a different story. It becomes very heavy, but you know that big metal cap, that's what you can expect. Um, the biggest thing to me, and I think I made that fairly abundantly clear during the writing sample, but in case you missed it, that nib is exceptional and an absolute pleasure to use. Really great. Things I don't like about it so much, well, it's 350 euros, which is not cheap, but as pens go, this Mont Blanc is 690 euros, 350, with a very great Ceylon nib. So, as fountain pens go, I don't think that is terrible. I know it's not cheap by any means, but don't forget, if you're outside the US, or sorry, if you're outside the EU, this was lent to me by Applebaum. You don't pay 21% VAT, so it's 350 minus 21% VAT, and you can get 10% discount. Check out my website for that. So in that regard, this becomes pretty interesting, maybe. So there is that. 
things I don't like so much. The thing that I dislike most about this pen is the cap. I find it very bulbous and I don't find it really visually pleasing. Again, it could be a personal thing, but I don't really see it. Here's the deal for me though. Quite honestly, even if this would be the most hideous pen body in the world, which I don't think it is, but even if it would be, for this nib, I'll overlook an awful lot. Because the writing experience with that nib is superb. And there you have it. Bottom line, maybe not the cheapest pen, but that nib is exceptional. Buy it now. No, you don't have to buy it. I'm just saying, great. I would be very, very happy to have a pen like that. So, there you have it. Guys, I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.